one two one two one two we are now live on cruising the planet i can't i can't hear anything are you sure we're live you can't hear anything are you sure i can hear oh i can hear myself now I'm i good. turn it i turn it no, down i'm chilling on the big song chilling. so it's not blaring in our ears I'm big chilling you know how it is adjust big. the camera buddy pow Welcome to Cruising the Planet. Okay. A little, a little exaggerative. I like no, it's it. Not, that's how we roll around This is here. how we should open the podcast. You oh, yeah? get more exciting with it. Cruising the Planet. That's some All right. to it. Talking about mysteries of the planet. Or the universe. Actually. You know, that's a little that's a little exaggeratory. Mysteries of the universe. No, that is you the know topic. What I'm that's what it is. I know it's the topic, but like, are we really going to get into the universe or are I we am. gonna stay here on tech? Oh, I have like we're getting Earth. in the black hole. I got oh like boy, I'm getting things. into aliens, it's on my note. Oh, okay. Yeah, the universe. The universe. Don't play with okay, me. Okay, well, since the she has universe. all the notes and I'm not gonna play with her. How oh. about Aaliyah can tell us a little bit about... Yeah, Aaliyah, go ahead, go ahead. All right, so Mysteries of the Universe, mysteries, mysteries of the Universe. If Start you don't know, here. if you don't know, a little fun fact about me, I am half Egyptian, a full 50%. Yep. She's alien. <laughs> Confirmed. I was Egyptians? born here, actually. That's not what I meant. <laughs> actually. All right. Let's that is not uh, what I meant. But, but anyway... Get off of that topic. Nah, let me let me clarify. If you no, watch the let me no, clarify. no, we know what, that's, what, that's not what you meant. We know. We knew that. We knew that. If you watch the we knew that Travis. Oh, okay. We knew that. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but gentlemen. We knew that Travis. Continue. If you watch the late night History Channel, any time past, mm, I would be, I would say 11 p.m. But mm, we all know past 10, you're gonna see somebody on there saying that aliens built the pyramids or aliens did something. So people are all the time like, "Oh, the aliens built the pyramid." No, I'm not talking about that. The pyramids are really crazy because, um, if you didn't know, uh, Cleopatra's tomb has recently been found and there was an eight mile long tunnel found underground connecting it from the pyramid to the ocean. Who is Cleopatra? Who was that? She was an Egyptian, uh, queen that was so powerful. She was treated like a pharaoh and Mm. only men were kings and they were called pharaohs. Gotcha. She's very, gotcha. very big in history. Probably because she had some contact with aliens. Uh, yeah. She also was known for uh, doing some things with uh, Julius Caesar. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bit of a controversy there. <laughs> they both were very powerful people. I mean, because Cleopatra, if you didn't know, she was not um, Egyptian at all. She just started ruling. I'm pretty sure she was Roman or Greek. Pretty mm. sure Roman. But anyway, she, like, their empires were so powerful, they joined together, and then, you know, he died. And but all that biz. Anyway, but, like, that, it was so perfectly carved, it was crazy. Anyway, on to more, like, actual mysteries. The Wonders of the World, like the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Um, what else? The Colossus of, of Rhodes. I've heard of all these things, I just don't know what they like are. Like Stonehenge... Uh, Easter Island heads. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, like the theories that the Easter the, Island heads are the full bodies. The, um, so foreign to me. I but no like idea. Colossus of Rhodes was supposedly this massive statue. I forgot over where. But it was so huge and it was like unfathomably carvable. And then just all the carved out statues in Egypt are so massive it's insane. But like it's doable. I understand how engineering and biz. But like the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. I'll never get over how that happened and then amelia Earhart. but we're actually finding we're actually finding out a lot about her mm-hmm. some a lot of new stuff came forward about it and i'm actually right? really excited yeah okay Wait. my fault I, I didn't hear anything you said i was trying to just as mike because i know they probably can't see us what it's like this. no they can they if you my mic everyone should mic if you lean like if you scoot back just a little bit they can see you good like that, i know yeah. mine isn't blocking Dylan. or if you lower yours a little bit just do it like this Okay. Well, right, we can see you good now. We can see you good. What's the Hanging Gardens? The Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Um, it was supposedly one of the uh, seven wonders of the world, and it you know how like there was the pyramids and all that biz, and well, like some of them are gone, and it was supposedly where all language came from. Mm. 
it, that was in the Supposedly. Bible. It was like, and it's in the Bible. It's in mythology. It's, it, it's like, it was theorized a lot in history. Hmm. So it came from a garden. Yeah, it was the, called the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. And I, I don't know anything about that. Okay. Wow, guys, I love mythology. I only know things about um, cool stuff. Oh, that's, I uh, think that's mythology cool. is oh, cool. Oh, burn. Wait, is mythology that, is, is that, cool. Burn. Is that, that's history, though, too. It's not just mythology, right? I mean, we can't confirm it as history because we can't confirm it as real. But you, So there's no one knows if that was a real place? Yeah. Cause, like, it's one of those things. There's okay. evidence, but there's... It's a mystery uh, of the universe. Yeah. Huh? Gotcha. I got the connection. Hey, there. I can hear the radio music. Yeah, no, it's just because it just happens. One of the things that happens to it. It is what it is. Like we're not even connected to it right now. Okay. Another mystery of the universe. What? Um, why couldn't I find my underwear this morning? <laughs> I don't know. Probably because the washer ate it. Yeah. Or gnomes. gnomes Laundry gnomes. Continue. Laundry gnomes are what eats your socks when you only have a single pair of socks. Oh, um, laundry gnome. I was going to say Saint Something's Fire. It's an the, ocean the phenomenon. Of Alexandria. No. Ocean phenomenon. Yeah, so in the ocean, whenever there's like storm clouds around, um, you can see electricity coming off of stuff. It looks like a purple like outline. Like you stick your hand out and like electricity will come off. Ooh. It's pretty. I like that. Pretty interesting little. Saint Elmo's Fire, that's what it's called. You can look it up. It's pretty. It's pretty in depth in, um, like, pirate. Saint Elmo's fire is referenced in. Um, yeah. Saint Elmo's fire is referenced in 1985 mm -hmm. uh, by Bowling yeah. for Soup. Could jump in it and I'll get electrocuted. No, it's like, it's not like actually like electricity. It's like powers. It's like static electricity. New powers if I jump in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Is it real? Like, can you have you been there? No, it's not a place. It's a, just a thing that happens on the ocean. So it's like a sign. It's like a scientific thing that happens in yeah. the water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Just because of how, like, the water reacts with electricity and how there's, like, nothing grounding anybody or anything like that. Yeah. It's a pretty weird little little thing. Have you ever heard about, like, the never-ending fire? Isn't there, like, a You mean, never like, eternal flames? Yeah. Okay, so... That's crazy to me. There's well, actually a ton of There's the uh, JFK's grave. He has an eternal flame on it. But it's just hooked up to a gas line. <laughs> okay, but there's natural <laughs> eternal flames, Jake. And natural eternal it's flames. It's hooked up to a gas line. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go there's ahead, go ahead. There's a ton across the planet. And um, it's basically, uh, it's in caves a lot. But there's this one little one I can think of. And it's like just in the side of a little spot on a mountain. And, um... Ugh. It basically uh, is just a spot where natural gas leaks out and something could spark it, a lightning strike, static, um, somebody could light it, anything. But it's just, it can just naturally occur and they stay lit. Hmm. And sometimes they'll go out, but usually they'll just naturally be relit. That's cool. It's really cool. Also reminds me of like the water that looks still, but it's running. Oh, the laminar oh, yeah. flow effect? Yeah, Lamin yeah dude. Lamin flow. Crazy. Love it, love it, love it. You can do it with a balloon and some tape. Really? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. actually really easy. That's cool. Or like uh, oil fires in Kuwait during the global global war on terror. I'm sorry? I don't know. It's just like some movie scene. No, it's or... something that actually happened. So hey, whenever... Jake, aren't the pyramids gone? Yeah. yeah. Um, how'd they, how'd Godzilla they speared King Kong through the Great Pyramid <laughs> of Giza and then suplexed him into a portal, basically. Is the Sphinx Sounds okay, right. though? No. That one's completely gone. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, Unlucky. it's quite unfortunate, but hey, monster wrestling. Mon monster yeah. wrestling. Monster wrestling. But um, yeah. So the oil Episode fires in Kuwait—it's not really a mystery. It's like it's just burning an oil well, basically. Mm. And they just did it so it'd make a smoke screen. And they to put it out, they put jet engines onto tanks on the turret, and they could shoot the exhaust out, and it puts the flame out because it like starves it of oxygen. Yeah, it's pretty dope. That's not a mystery, though. I just think it's cool because they put yeah. jets on tanks. One mystery of the universe would actually be... Well, I have, like, three, like, actually space ones because I thought, it, like, it was, like, going to be space, space ones. Space ones! Uh, there's the Great Attractor, which is, like, this gigantic just... 
Oh yeah, it's like a giant mass in yeah, the middle of the space, mass. and it just everything. It's like a black hole or something. Yeah, it's like a huge one. And everything just goes to it. A bunch of universes, including ours, just circle around and yeah. slowly go in. And then there's also the pillars of creation of what is what's called. It's like a. Yes, I love the like pillars of creation. Of just like light and stuff. The pillars of creation huh. is beautiful. If you look at pictures of it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It definitely looks like honestly. If I saw that, it would look fake, but I think just because, like, it came from NASA, it's like, oh, okay. There's... It, true. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Moon landing was fake. Nah, Don't get me started Let's not get into that. Let's not get into that. Don't get me started. Um, let me think of one. Um, go on. It's gotta be one. There's also <laughs> zombie stars. Which are basically, like, after a star, like, explodes, there's some of them that don't, like, go away. They kind of just, like, kind of resurface back up, but they don't glow. They just emit, like, a bunch of, like, um... Radiation. Ray radiation. and just spin. Oh, yeah. And every single star that you look at right now in the sky is probably already exploded. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What do you mean? Because their light, they're so far away, the light takes millions of years to get here. So we're just seeing old light. Yeah. Really? So most yeah. of the stars you see, like are d long gone long gone mm -hmm. i can see this it's pretty freaky to think about i know but the sun only takes like eight minutes to get here so dang yeah. but most of the stars we see are like that's crazy that's, that's so outside. crazy about yeah. us bro we had eight minutes to live i honestly know we'd have like what like a minute or two minutes to live yeah, before it gets too hot and blisters yeah, our skin exactly yeah and we die yep it just burn us to a crisp mm -hmm. My it's place. pretty crazy to think about that's like crazy space stuff is like bro. completely out of our control and it's like Almost all of it is 100% lethal to everything on Earth. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Except, New topic. For, the except for the mold. That's one with my homie. I have a homie who tells me, he's like, bro, if you don't believe in aliens, bro, like, you're stupid. But I, in my head, I'm like, dude, you know how perfect Earth is in the yeah. solar system? You know how many billions of planets are in the solar system? Yeah, I definitely no, think that. No freaking way that there's like there's so many different forms of life forms on the planet. There's even single cell life forms. No freaking way. Well, I mean, there's already confirmed in the millions, bacteria billions, on other planets. Trillion, yeah, exactly. I think on Mars and the Moon, there was like single uh, cell bacteria. And there was water on other planets. <laughs> also, there's life the, forms um, on other planets for shizzle. The, yeah, I mean, I believe there's probably like plants on other planets or, or beings, but clone. I don't think. I don't like think there's an exact human. I don't know if anything is that's here as civilized as us. That's um, I that's think another that. and as advanced a mystery as us. is that if the universe is unlimited and infinite, there is a very slim chance that there's a, another copy of us out in the universe. I don't think that there's an exact form of humans. Cool. I think there is creepy, probably something bro. like it. That'd be scary. I'll go to Jake and you know, like in Rick and Morty, how there's oh, yeah? all the similarities. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? Y'all are my favorite couple. Oh. Um, couple of dudes hanging out. Yeah, exactly. Couple of dudes. We're just, just chilling. No, I know what y'all say to each other. I stream with my stream. All right. Um, we're going to have to report her to yeah. our clones. To HR. To your, <laughs> to your clones? To our clones. Are y'all the real destroy, ones right To destroy the clone in your other universe. I see it. Parallel dimensions. Kill. Do y'all believe in like the multiversal theory? What is that? I definitely think there's like other planes of like, existence because mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like because if there can be one universe with the Andromeda galaxy and the Milky Way galaxy and all the billions and trillions of planets, then I believe that there could be multiple universes. I don't know how it would work though. Yeah, I don't either. But you know, I feel like that's what ghosts are. It's just like like blips and back like into our universe. Events. Yeah. Have y'all heard of like time slips? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. there's a there's Mystery a whole of the universe. subreddit I'm I'm in called um. I don't know. What, I forget what it's called, but it's like where some an event will happen, and then they'll end up in a different time timeline. Well, I'm well, talking like, about this per. Okay, for example, this one I read like a week ago. This person uh, was homeless or whatever, and they their friend or whatever let them stay at their house. And this this dream, uh, not a dream. This uh, took months, like a real time, like months of them living at this person's house. And then they woke up from a dream and they're homeless. Mm. Whoa. Just like like their actual life was happening, but then they woke up all of a sudden. 
I'd be so motivated to get going and do. I'd something. be scared, bro. Mm. You just know. wasted. It's like you wasted months of your life, but you really didn't. That's not what I'm talking about. Like that's waking up from a dream or whatever. But there's like this actual theory of time slips where it's like, of course, over. I think it's over sandstone and limestone. But whenever you're traveling, and like sand and limestone have different gravitational pulls and different magnetic pulls, and time is on. Uh, basically like a string and the magnetic pole of it like dips into the weight of time because time is weighted so that's how light travels to us different like planets have different weight in time and it'll like shift so there's a whole bunch of stories of people like they'll go somewhere and they'll walk out of a store and it's like 1942 or something it's really cool it hurts my head to think about yeah. The the idea that like light and time have weight in mm -hmm. space and on the planes is so hard to comprehend and it's like such a big thing for engineering too because you have to understand how everything will travel with the parts that you're making. It's like oh my gosh. Mm. But there's rappers on different planets. Definitely. Like mm -hmm. oh, coming yeah. up with like No, think about uh Men in Black too when well, they're rapping music in the is like a universal office. language yeah but like rap it's so it's a rhythm he was beatboxing it's just a rhythm he was an alien that spoke through beatbox that is men in black that is a movie created by hollywood wow. and will smith that's okay a real rapper so too. you but you think that couldn't happen i'm not i'm not saying it couldn't but a exactly. lot of things have couldn't hope. happen you know have hope a have hope that there's like a planet that. of aliens that communicate through beatboxing like the bees but they do dancing Let's see, yeah bees dance <laughs> How do you think they convey sad news? Do you think it's like a sad thing? You think, I think bees would be on every planet. Uh, yeah, something doubt. similar to bees. Like, just like a bee. Well, if you think that we can't be on other planets, what makes you think a bee could be on other planets? A bee is less complex than a human being. No. They're, they're actually pretty complex. complex. They're really complex. Did you know that their mouth consists of eight parts? And bees aren't even supposed to be able to fly. So they're very complex little creatures. I understand that, but a human being is... Stop complex bees. beyond comprehension. Stop being mean to bees right now. I think I they're like a lot more complex than no bees. Come to realize, I think like, insects in general. Huh? I think I just and like spiders and the bro, way that bee, I won't kill bees. That's <laughs> only insect won't kill is a bee. Let's see. Uh... Hi, I'm Danica Patrick. Um, dark matter. <laughs> oh yeah. What is Black that? Everyone talks about that. I don't know what Baryonic that is. Baryonic matter, protons, neutrons, electrons. About 30 years ago, astronomers thought that the universe followed the same rules that same rules that it was entirely baryonic matter. Over the last few decades, however, scientists have found that only 5% of the universe is composed of baryonic matter. What does that mean? That means only 5% is composed of protons, neutrons, and electrons. What does that mean? Composed of atoms. That means so we like, don't know a lot that we thought we knew. Yeah, so yeah, even like, about our own planet, specifically, specifically the oceans. That really yeah. dumb it down to me. Explain it like fifth grade. Okay, terms. this is made out of atoms. Okay, yep. That's all I need to know. Yep. Everything is made out of atoms. Yep. They thought everything was made out of atoms, but only 5% of things are made out of atoms. Mm -hmm. In the entire universe? Yeah. Even the air is at is atoms on Earth. I know, but like, what, what are the other things made out of? No one knows. They don't know. They label it dark matter just because it's unknown. Mm. I feel like that's giving a bad rap to the unknown matter. It's called dark matter. Like, guys, chill Malicious out. Matter. We just don't know what it is. Um. Bonger, here's that bonger. thing I was talking about where, like, the if the universe is always expanding, is always, like, infinite or whatever, that there could be another you. Um, says, I doubt that there's another me because I am so funny, so original, and so fantastic. If the universe is compelled to repeat itself... To be a part of the quote multiverse. I don't think if there could be a possibility of another you. Possibly. If you look for far, far enough. But I think in the extent of the universe that in the timeline, even in the infinite, even in the infinite universe, that there could only be one version of you at a time. Yeah, in the universe. I mean, because like the You'd universe is always expanding, that. and it's not, it's not like. It's the assumption that people can even explore that far because it could be the thing that it's just impossible because of how far everything takes to travel. Yeah, and do you know how big infinite hundreds. is? I'm just thinking yeah, about exactly. like, do other planets have like a like? I'm just thinking like if there was like another us, a different reality. Like, do they have Captain Crunch? Is do it they a different have Captain cereal? Crunch? I mean, if you get far enough, uh, probably. 
Uh, I want to know how the food tastes. They have different foods, di- different civilization crunch. foods. There's so many foods. I'm a foodie, man. Y'all talking about dark matter and all that stuff. I'm like, what about the food? I don't know. The f- as farther you go, probably the more similar it gets. Purple spaghetti. It's pretty cr- <laughs> pretty creepy to think made about. Out of, made out of alien squash potato. I don't know. Tentacle shrimp. Tentacle shrimp. Calamari and shrimp. Love calamari. Uh, what time is it? Is it time to move on? Two fifty. Is it time to move on to the game? Not to, yet. Or? Ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. <gasps> yeah. Shrimp, shark sized shrimp. Scary. That would that would be, be terrifying. That'd be terrifying. Do you know oh about God. that? About um, I think they're from off the coast of Japan. The giant spider crabs. Yeah, oh, yeah. They're like ten foot wide. Eat them. Those things. Yeah, are they freaky. do eat them. They're freaking. Are they hard to kill? No, they're like giant bugs. They're like their bodies like the size of like a basketball, but then they just have giant legs. Dude, one crab leg on that thing. Mm-mm-mm. Feed you. That's probably really expensive too. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. but I mean, I feel like it would be fun to hunt. Back on, on topic. No, but off topic again. Imagine a shark-sized mantis shrimp. You're dying. You're dying. One punch from that. Thing. Okay, let's get back on topic here. <laughs> I just looked up the space roar. What? So, uh, in 2006, these scientists were searching for signals for the proof of the Big Bang. And they used this, this uh, like, space balloon to, like, they could fly up to the, the atmosphere. lower atmosphere. And they detected a mysterious residual radio source, which turned oh. out that, which turned out to be about six times stronger than the original theory predicted. What do they mean, like, original radio source? What does that mean? Like... Radio source just means like a, so like, frequency, yeah, like light, sound, all this stuff mm-hmm. is on like a like a wavelength, and radio waves are like a, the biggest. I thought that meant no. I know what that. I yeah, that's what it's talking about. Okay. Like radio waves and light waves are technically still waves, but one is bigger than the other. So they found proof of the Big Bang. Like they found a massive radio sound. No, that's not. The Big Bang, but, but we they saying? found that as a, a side effect of looking for the Big Bang mm. proof. Um, I think we, I think we really like. I think sound is so like. I think sound is crazy. Yeah, so especially especially works. speakers. Two wires connect yeah. to a speaker can make a song. How does that work? How does Bluetooth work? Yeah. How do magnets? I don't know. I know and how, how magnets work, and actually, but I really can't explain is, how Bluetooth works. I really think that I think that sound could be able to move things. You know sound, what I'm sound can move things, and that's crazy to think about. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like something invisible. No, bro. I mean, it's you can't see sound. No, but I'm talking sound. I think I've heard people things, people like people think that that's some that's how like pyramids. Are, I remember I, had, I met a homie who thought yeah, that's, that's like how pyramids are theories like are pyramids built, were built vibrations like through sound. Like that. Yeah, I don't know. Because I've, like, the realistic, like, theories on what, how the pyramids were built with, like, giant, like, primitive machines. Mm-hmm. Like, come on, man. They didn't have that. I mean, I'm sure they had it, but yeah. I don't think it, they could have built it as fast as they did. No way they had it. it, actually. No, we did be proof of that somewhere, bro. You know what I'm saying? There'd be something. Yeah. Those are huge machines. If they Plus did. how precise they did it. I think it aligns up to one of the constellations. Yeah, and also, like, it makes a triangle with, like, like, um, like the pyramids, Bermuda Triangle, and like, like Stonehenge or something make like a perfect triangle on the Earth. Mm-hmm. Some really? Like, yeah, I don't know. Some some like major historical like they must have they must have known something that we don't, or they someone told them something that they didn't tell us. You think we were getting signals nah, of like where to build stuff? I think I think it was I think some higher being gave them technology to do it and took it away or something. I think they just Some learned it. I, think they stuff. Just... I mean, there is also, there's one pyramid um, either in the Ant, I don't know if it's the Antarctic, but there's one in a very snowy place and there's one like deep in the ocean. So there's those two that just yeah. kind of like... Deep in the ocean is crazy. Yeah. yeah. Did it like fall into the ocean or was it... It's just ocean Atlantis. Is that real? Yeah. I mean, there were some That's things. another thing, another mystery. They don't... 
that's crazy thing about it too. There's, I'm always going crazy, bro. Yeah. I mean, Mysteries of the ocean. There's underwater sea caves, underwater Tons volcanoes that we don't know. But like so much, there were so many societies that used to be above water that aren't. Like New York and California and Florida are gonna be those eventually. Like not too far from now, but there's so many places that just are underwater now that you like they didn't sink or anything the water levels rose and another like really popular diving spots but it's so crazy it's so mm -hmm. crazy to me yeah like there's also a pyramid in kentucky yeah, yeah the bass pro shop <laughs> that's in tennessee <laughs> but yeah tennessee whatever bro, same like, place kentucky. water there's a castle in kentucky and it, there's so much in water like you were saying like just so much stuff we don't know about the water yeah so like i feel like if there was another planet like like us to be it's crazy to think about because even us as humans to be able to or like whatever we were before humans right we're able to come onto a land and live on land yeah it's crazy like evolve out of like lizard or like gill water because weren't we just at one point like was wasn't it just water on earth yeah yeah that was like super long time ago but yeah mm -hmm. yeah so a planet with organisms you think that it'd be water like the same or would it would it be the same way yeah i don't know would it be land first then in water is it easier in the water to for an organism for an or, for like an organism to form oh the, the or reason why that was a thing was because no? we didn't have enough oxygen in that and like the air mm. so they were evolved through the water and then whenever whenever the ozone started forming and that allowed oxygen and stuff to stay in and like uv rays to keep from incinerating everything on the on the land that's whenever the things started crawling but how did they know they felt it i don't it? know like what is like going on circadian rhythm type what thing. is going on there was, there was also theories rhythm. that our moon was one that like kind of triggered it like the gravitational pull of the moon changing all the tides and waves yeah, yeah it could be a thing yeah like yeah. stirring pod just oh two two things combined you're alive now yeah because i mean it does sure. have a pull and that's why like there's ocean tides but i'm also, excited to see how the earth ends there's also well, you're probably waves. not gonna be alive when it happens. So damn, I don't know if you'd want to be here for that. I probably wouldn't. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was saying there's also like rogue waves that just randomly happen. It's like there's yeah. normal waves and then like just two, eighty like, feet full wave yeah. out of nowhere. But those don't really yeah. often come onto the shore, anyways. So. Yeah, no, it's like it's just like in the middle, in the middle of, the of the ocean. When the world ends, will it be able to rebuild itself? I think yeah. And Definitely. then they'll know about us, or they won't know. I think yeah, they'll be blank. I think that would be evidence. I think there'd extent. be tons of evidence. There would be evidence. That'd be like crazy, satellites. Bro. Those are like satellites. And those are the aliens. And they came back in time right now to save us from the exactly. And to hop crazy. on the crazy. Oh exactly. The aliens are aliens. They're actually further beings of ourselves. Exactly. That's also That's another crazy. theory. That's a theory. I just came up on the here spot. Theorizing. Too. Which is actually probably a pretty reasonable. It's a mystery. And then whenever you get into the future and time travel exists, that means time travel's always existed. What? Because if they time travel back in time, but if time travel never existed, they couldn't go back. In Wait, time. if time travel existed, you can play God. Anything that's been invented. Means I don't know about that, that but existed. you can. can. Well, no, because unless time travel like puts you in another dimension and in a whole another timeline, but if it stays on the same timeline, if you start messing stuff up in the past, then it'll mess stuff up in the future. Just, dude, just crazy. Hey, oh, uh, what time is it? It is now two fifty-eight. Oh man, we gotta we gotta play the game because we have to be done by like three thirty because we have a, we have a uh, basketball game going on. Uh, Lance has to work a basketball okay, game. Okay, okay. So, what time? Yeah. Let me get the uh, three thirty. Let me get. The oh, I think three thirty-seven. What is that? So we get out of here three thirty. He'll do. Oh, okay. Thing. So then I'm not doing. Okay. You're not doing what? Nothing. Oh, your juice show. Oh, wait, I just need one. One board? Or no, no. We each need no, a board. But I'm going to be drunk. I want red. I got y'all each your color. He <laughs> dropped them, though. There's a green one somewhere. What? Oh. Thank you. Oh, never mind. All right. For this game that we'll be playing There's today, also a purple marker somewhere. Where's the purple marker? None. Oh, it's over there. Okay. For this game, I don't know if this is actually called Pictionary, but is that what it's called? Pictionary? I guess so, yeah. I've never played Pictionary, so... I'm going to be drawing a word. I will show the viewers the word, and they will have to guess what I'm drawing with a word. So I will draw the word, and they will write the word that I'm drawing. Attempt to. You? Uh, how do we know like what to draw? Like, no, you're going to be guessing the word. You're going to be guessing what I'm drawing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. 
Okay. Number one. Chorizo and eggs. <laughs> oh, fuck. We're doing number one. Okay. Okay. What is it? I tell you. Oh, my fault. I tell you. It's going to draw. Okay. I think aliens colored in coloring books. Yes. This is number one right here. And now they will get to guess. Okay, are y'all ready? You ready to guess? Yo. What that's what the angels are. Okay. Well, Here's well, the picture. I'm on that. Got it. Clutching. I got it. I don't know exactly what that is. I have one of those at my house. Or actually, I'm going to give myself, make myself even, uh, I'm going to do, give myself 10 seconds to draw something. Ooh, adding to the challenge. All right. Yeah. All right. Y'all get y'all's answer. Y'all all got a point. Oh, what? shoot. Microwave. All right. This is the second one. Oh, my fault. Jesse's supposed to be playing. Oh. My fault. I'm going to get Jesse in here. Dude. Yeah, that's I, my fault. I, I got Jesse a point. I got Jesse a point. Up. Okay, okay. You're Guys, welcome, Jesse. One of the erasers. Jesse, Jesse. <laughs> A little bit of a, a miscommunication going on. <laughs> My back is killing me. Okay. I heard I have a whole point now. Yeah, you got a free point. Yay. Okay. I will be attempting the second one, and I get 10 seconds to draw it. Ready? What's happening? Wait. Timer. A uh, Pixnary. Jake's gonna draw something and we guess the word or what it is. Oh. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, start. <laughs> nope. Stop it. Okay. Here is number two. It's gonna be. A little, a little bit more difficult for y'all. <laughs> what in the hell? What is that? I feel like Dylan, Dylan, Dylan's probably going to be the winner of this one. I feel like he has the most um, creative art ability out of all of us. I hope it's this. All right, y'all ready? Hold on. Oh, wait. Jesse, I give you new five seconds. Five. Hold on, I can't spell. Four... Three. Okay. okay. Reveal your answers. <laughs> Y'all all got it wrong. What is it? Man. It's a backpack. That's oh. not a backpack. What kind of backpack so the, the is The straps that? right there, and then there's a strap on the top, and then there's the hole for the bag. I no. thought it was like a stylized bee. <laughs> stylized bee? I yep. put two olives. Okay. <laughs> for the next one. There is... Number three. Don't be looking over here. I know you can't see, but... Can't see for sure. Sh oh, saved it. Okay. Ready, set, go. Do, 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 we need some, like, do, Jeopardy music. Where's the Kahoot music, man? All right. Y'all, here's the, um, here's my drawing for number three. It looks pretty pretty great. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh. that's, I say that's pretty pretty good. You already got it wrong. <laughs> <gasps> what is my all I have to say is draw better. Thank you, Emily. I really appreciate it. All right, I'm giving y'all 10 seconds. 10. Are y'all already done? Yeah. Yep. Okay, reveal your answers. Y'all all got it right. Yay. Wow. And if it wasn't for me, if I wouldn't have said nothing, Aaliyah would have got it wrong. Well, that was going to be... What was your first answer? Nothing. What was it? It was Blender. No, it wasn't. It yeah, started it was. with like a K or like an H. No, it was Blender. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was probably like... Kettle. Yeah. No, it was Hot Pot. What? Hot Pot? <laughs> 
looks like the hot pot that I don't have in my dorm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Number four. This one should be a good one. I keep on closing my freaking phone. Keeps on closing his okay. freaking Three, phone. Three, two, one. What was it? I could oh, go okay, further than that. Oh, that's one. If y'all don't get this one, come on. Y'all gotta get better if y'all don't get this one. Three, two, one. Oh, wait. This is what it looks like. <laughs> oh, this marker sucks. Oh, I almost said something completely wrong. Everyone got it? Yep. <laughs> Reveal your answers. Y'all got it right. Surprise, surprise. I almost said lips. Lips? Yup. Now watch me whip. Now watch me nana. I'm gonna get a little more difficult ones. <laughs> what the? Pardon my French. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, I'll be doing number three on this list. Ten seconds to draw this one is going to be kind of difficult. Okay, three, two, one, start. That's not Kahoot. <laughs> I don't know what Kahoot is. Okay. <laughs> this is actually not good at all. <laughs> but y'all might be able to get it. <laughs> Some Wii music. Okay, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> let me uh let me, let me show options. the audience here. Um Can I see it one more time? Yeah, of course, of course. Oh. I think there's a few things. You're gonna accept two guesses. <laughs> I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> it's not either of these things. No, I don't think it's. It is not either of those things. None of y'all got it right. What is it? But Jesse got the closest, so I'll give her half a point. Yeah, but what was it? It's a gazebo. Bruh. Oh, oh, I thought it was like a pull pulley system or a crock pot. <laughs> I crock put a trampoline pot. slash. Oh, it doesn't like a crock pot with like the lid flying <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> If you wanted a gazebo, you should have... I only had 10 seconds to draw it, so give me some slack here. Thank you. No. You're not Be better. Um, let's see. What is a... S oh. Um... Why did it give me such difficult options? <laughs> Dude, it wanted me to draw a freaking... A sphag sphagmo manometer. What is that? Some light. I have no clue what it is. No, it's a blood pressure cuff. Oh. oh. <laughs> Why did they just say blood pressure cuff? That's dumb. Okay. Boop. Here's one. Um, I'm doing number eight on the list. Okay. Oh, you can't hear it. Is my mic off? Because there's no way you can hear that. No, I can totally hear that. You can I hear can it? Hear Wait, it. hear what? Wait, I can hear a thing. Can you not hear it? What I can't that? hear that. It's no, the Wii music. It. You can't hear it either? No. Uh, your mic is definitely on. Oh. Because I can definitely hear you. I can hear you talking. Oh, that's on Jordan's phone. <laughs> <laughs> what? Me and Jordan shared the same Spotify account. So wait, you played it and it was playing on his phone? Yeah. He's like, what in the devil is going on? <laughs> okay, this is a really... I like your Jordan impression. Yeah, I've never heard him talk before, so... Here's what it looks like. Okay. And here you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I 
I should have angled the little thing on the top the other way. If I did that, it would have made it look so much more better. More better. More better were. All right, I got your answers. Yeah. Yep. Reveal. Right. Jesse got it right. It's yeah. a treadmill. It was a treadmill. Oh. I really thought I clutched with that one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What should I do now? Uh -huh. Okay. I'm doing number four on the list. Oh, we can't even read that, but that's okay. Okay. Starting. <laughs> okay, here is what it is. Looks kind of gross. But there is my drawing. Oh, there's two options. There is two options. Dun, uh. dun, dun. I'm locked in. Me too. All right, let's see. Y'all all got it right. It yeah. was a cupcake. Oh no! I dropped my marker cap. As in reference to the cupcake? Huh? Huh? My marker cap? From the other day? No. That was just a regular cupcake. <laughs> Pitched regular cupcake. the heck okay these ones are okay these ones are pretty good i'm doing number four from the list you can't even read that but that's okay you can just believe in the shield okay oh, how am I gonna draw this? <laughs> okay okay This one might be a little more difficult, actually, after looking at it. So here's what it looks like. It actually looks like... Huh, looks pretty good, actually. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Um. Whoops. I think my line at the top might have messed it up. But... Wrong letter. Do I have y'all's answers? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all all got it wrong. What is it? Dang. It's supposed to be a chandelier. No. Oh. <laughs> I think it looks kind of like a lampshade. A little bit. I think you should take our wrong guesses as constructing for criticism. Well, I only have 10 seconds. So. Also, chandeliers are pretty intricate objects. So, yeah. Um, okay, I'm doing number six on the list now. Look, chandelier. That is not a chandelier. It looks like a looks like a, a fish hook. Your fish hook. I'm doing number six on the list. Okay, this should be this should be so. If y'all don't get this one. Okay, here it is. This one also looks kind of gross, but it also is gross. So, here we go. What is that? Okay. I'm still writing. Hold on. Clearly, we can see that. <laughs> Um, everyone got it right except for Jesse. What is it? It's a plunger. Oh, it looks like a potato masher. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> what type of permit? What type of potato masher looks like a plunger? None of them. Hold on, I'm gonna prove you wrong. <laughs> we are now getting images of potato masher uploaded to our brain cells. 
All right, so let's get an update on the scoring. Who's, um... Hi, Lacey. Were you not keeping track? No, I wasn't, because I was hoping y'all were right down. Oh. <laughs> look, tell I me that does not look like track. I still, it doesn't look like I that. I kept track yes, of, like, does. three, and then I stopped after that. Okay, so I think... I let's see. Pick your... I be, think... Be biased. Pick your favorite. Pick who's the winner. We're cool. not done yet. Nope. Probably gonna do five more minutes of this. I think Jesse's winning right now. Or no. I think Jesse has two and a half points. Dylan should also have three. I have more than three because this was how many I had in the beginning of the game and we've guessed a lot since then. Give yourself five. All I know is I had one when I got in here. Yeah. And then you got one right. No, you definitely... Okay. Just do... Everyone has five. Everyone has five. Everyone has five points right now. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I'm doing number one on the list here. Okay. My attempt starts now. This one also may, might be a little difficult. <laughs> this what it looks like. Okay, and here you go. Ooh, Picasso. Ooh. See, like, I have a guess, but I don't. I have, like, two different can ones. Can everyone see it right here? What is that? Jesse, can you see this? Yeah. It's a brush what? A brush idol? I don't know what this is. It looks like it says idol. <laughs> You're all wrong again. It's a compass. Uh, no, it's not. That was a compass. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay. Getting more here. Bye. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm doing number one. I'll give myself three seconds, three more seconds. Okay, if y'all don't get this one, I'm being dead serious this time. This time I'm dead serious. If y'all don't get this one, I guess I just suck at drawing. Because this one is good. This one is good. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got it. It could be a multitude of different um, things after looking at it again. God, why is my writing so bad? Wow. Oh, it's a Las Vegas victim. I don't know. Come on, Jesse. I need it. I'm now. sorry. Jesse and Dylan got it right. Yeah. It is a fire hydrant. I'm not talented enough to draw a French press. I don't even know what one of those looks like. That I'm guessing red. something like a fire hydrant. No, it's a coffee thingy. I know it's a coffee thingy, yeah, but I don't but know like what it, it looks like. It has a little handle like that, and then it just... Mine's red. She's okay. very cute. I'm doing number number four now. Number four. Number 15. Number 15. Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> okay. What did I say I was doing? I already forgot. Okay. Number 15. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. Burger King foot lettuce. Bubble. Bubble. This one's actually pretty good. Also. Okay. Here is the photograph. Look at this photograph. And here is the photograph. 
Oh. Oh. Y'all got this one in the bag. Yeah. Oh, wait. Y'all got it right. It is a waffle maker. All right, we're going to do one final Look at this photo. Final thing and then we're going to go to our question of the day. This one's going to be an animal. <laughs> Meow. Actually, no, it's not. Mm -mm. Meow. I was going to draw an ocelot, but that was kind of hard. <laughs> draw Minecraft ocelot. What was that noise? I have no idea. In the whiteboard. Oh, it's some, <laughs> it sounds like someone's playing like a like a racing game like a didgeridoo or like, like a, a, a banjo okay um okay i'm gonna give myself 20 seconds to draw this one 20 seconds to draw this one i'm doing number one This one might be a little too old for y'all. <laughs> Us old old people know about this one. <laughs> okay. 20 seconds. Start. These these whippersnappers might not know about this one here. Not the whippersnappers. Okay, and here is the object. Don't play with me. Oh, I oh. know what y'all oh. y'all have all seen. What I don't know, I what, know what, it's what it's called. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, or after this one, we're gonna do it. I don't know what it's called. I don't know if I got it either. Y'all all got it right, <laughs> but. Jesse gets half a point because yep. she didn't spell the name. It was an abacus, and it's spelled A B U or I spelled it A B A C U S. It's a counting it thing. Yeah, it's the original calculator. And with that, look at this. What are y'all's points? Three. Probably pretty close to each other. I got eight. Eight points for Dylan. Seven. Seven points for Leo. I think I got eight. Maybe. I think it might be seven and a half, because you gotta have a point. Yeah, seven and a half. Seven oh and a half. So Dylan, Dylan won by no surprise because Dylan, Dylan can draw. <laughs> it's Jesse guessing. got second, and Alia got third. But also, it could have been anybody winning technically because we all had to restart points be like three quarters of the way through the <laughs> round. So, okay, what is the question of the day? The question of the day is, which ancient civilization would you like to live in? Me, personally, I'd like to live in either Rome or ancient Egypt. That's Rome great. because of how technologically advanced they were. Ancient Egypt because I'm biased. I would want to live in... Probably... Here. Maybe... Wait, how... Wait, what is... What is the... Our conditioning of ancient, the word ancient? How old? Rome, Mesopotamia, ancient Egypt. Okay. So uh, I would probably want to just live in like, probably like the most civilized area in the world at the time. So Rome. Yeah, probably like Rome or like. You could have indoor plumbing and hot water. Yeah. Yeah, I would say Pretty Rome. Dope. I would not want to live in like Europe, like Western Definitely. Europe. The bubonic the plague. Everyone's just like dying plague. over there. The just always. Potato famine. Or maybe, I, actually, maybe I would want to live in North America at the time and live in a tribe. That would probably be pretty peaceful for the time being. Well, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, probably not a lot of, I don't know. Or maybe like, be like a, like a Neanderthal or something. A Neanderthal? Good. Yeah. Cro-Magnon. <laughs> the ultimate forehead style. Agamemnon. Have you seen how 
slanted Cro Magnon foreheads are. What is that? Mm-hmm. Cro Magnon is like a like a Jimmy. species of human. Jimmy. Jimmy. Okay, My bad, I was coloring. Look at this photograph. This freaking cord, man. Cro Magnon. Oh my. <gasps> so think about the Neanderthal. Coral Magdon foreheads, they're really 45 degree angle ish. <laughs> really aerodynamic. Got a big nose. Really too. aerodynamic. Yeah. It's perfect. They get, that thing will get the job done. You need to headbutt somebody. That's a lot of bone right there. Mm. Um, any further thoughts? Mm, I personally have no further thoughts. No, no further thoughts. Wait, did Dylan answer? Oh, Roman. Roman. Rome. Yeah, Rome. Rome. The structures. Neanderthal, Cro-Magnon, the beginning of time. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching this episode of Cruising the Planet. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for next week. Tis the planet. Make sure you follow all of our social medias at Tarleton Radio or KXTR 100.7 The Planet. Um, I hope you all have a great day and peace out. Peace out. Bye-bye.